This is a project I was working on. It's the Mehrun's Razor from Skyrim. This was printed in two parts. I combined them with glue and wood filler and it broke in the process which gave me an idea. But before that, a quick backstory on this dagger. This is a unique dagger from the game Skyrim and in order to get this dagger, the player have to complete a side quest. Long story short, player have to collect the pieces of the dagger which are split into the hilt, pommel, the blade shards and the scabbard. Player then have to take the pieces to a location and basically this happens. So my idea is, instead of printing the whole dagger in one piece, I'll split it into pieces like in the game and have it connected using magnets. To split the pieces, I use Windows 3D Builder. It's a free software from Windows. Uh, it's an easy to use software to edit STL files. I have already split it into 5 parts here as you can see from the colors. Now just need to export piece by piece and have them printed. Also, I have made holes for the magnets. Here are the printed parts and magnets. So time to do magnet testing. So just put the magnet in, cover with tape for the moment and Okay, so apparently by putting a single magnet at the center, uh, it's not strong enough to hold the pieces together. It's fine when I hold it at the bigger piece, but when I hold it at the small piece here, it falls off. So, I redesigned it with two magnets at both ends. And this time it works perfect. Also the sound is so satisfying. For the handle, I'll be gluing them together to the hill. Okay, so one issue I'm having with the magnets is this. Some of the holes are not deep enough and so the magnet sticks out like this. Some parts are okay and the magnets go all the way in. I'm not sure whether it's the issue with the printing or the STL file itself but uh, I'll just go with it. It is a bit noticeable when I stick the parts together. No gap. A slight gap. For the paint job, I'm using acrylic paint with primer. I already primed it with this primer here. And for the color, I'll only be using two colors for this project which are black and silver. So that's it for this video. I'm happy with how this project turns out to be. Uh, so far this is my favorite project. Please like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you.